Hey guys, this is Rhonda with an opening video. <laughs> I always love doing that. This is my pleasant company, Felicity. And I just came back from AG Place Los Angeles and I have some photos of the Be Forever Felicity. They look nothing alike, FYI. But I did get her accessories and her undergarments. A lot of people were asking if the Be Forever items were in those really icky, yucky uh, boxes and packaging like we have seen Gabriella's uh, stuff come in with the sewn on clothes and the, op you know, the windowed packaging. That would be a no. They are classic, um, classic, I won't say classic, I'll say they are the original uh, Be Forever packaging since the launch in 2014. This is her accessories. This is a beautiful, beautiful hat. I love this. The colors are gorgeous. Her dress, I did order her dress. It should be here soon. It is gorgeous in person. Um, I will have a review of that once I receive it. But this is so pretty. And it, uh, it does have the American Girl tag. So I'll put that on Felicity here in a moment. This accessories also comes with a fresh new mob cap because the one I have is the original um, Pleasant Company one. This is, and it has the uh, orange, burnt orange sort of ribbon going around it. This one does not. It is completely solid white cotton. Then it comes with a little wrap shawl, whatever you want to call it, around her shoulders. And we have a necklace. I love this coral. Very pretty. And that is what her accessories consist of. I was hoping for a handbag. Didn't get a handbag, but got the hat and necklace was really what I needed. So anyway, I will put this on her shortly. I'm going to get to the undergarments so we can see those. Again, very basic American Girl Be Forever packaging. Now they had her displayed downstairs and upstairs in Los Angeles, and they had her her undergarments on a dress form. This is the, the bum roll, I guess it's called. And then this would be her little under slip forgot what they call it in Colonial Williamsburg. And then her little vest. Love this, or not vest, um, corset. Love the pattern on this. Uh, we had seen hints of this on eBay before uh, she was relaunched. So this is very pretty. Um, similar colors, not similar pattern but I am appreciating the color scheme of this corset. I was afraid we were going to see lots of purples and lime green, pinks, lots of bright colors. This, to me, speaks more Pleasant Company um, revised Colonial Williamsburg fabric. It's very pretty, and it Velcros on the side here. And this ribbon... The lacing matches her original uh, mob cap. Um, let me see if I can show you that. See, very similar. We didn't steer too far away from Pleasant Roland's vision on this one. Being that my Felicity is a Pleasant Company doll, I'm going to tell you that the corset fits very snug. I mean, I had to squish and squeeze to get this. It's still not closing completely. It is a tight fit. I'm going to read the description from the catalog. Uh, it says, Felicity's undergarments, they're $28. A chemise to wear as a nightgown or under her dress. Tapestry, tapestry print stays. So they're calling it a stays, not a corset. And a bum roll to give Felicity's dress an authentic 1770s silhouette. So I was correct when I said bum roll, but this is not a corset, it's a stay. Um, I don't understand why they say that because it's lacing and all that, but anyway, this is a stay um, with the chemise and then the bum roll. And again, it's a very pretty 
colors, very pretty print. But if you have a older doll, it's going to squish and squeeze your girl. <laughs> She's really snugly fit in there, um, just as, a, as an FYI. But I do love this. I recommend this. Beautiful, beautiful, pleasant company, Felicity. She is gorgeous. Her hair when I bought her was um, damaged. I knew that when I purchased her off of eBay, but I still wanted her. And I trimmed it some. The lots of frayed ends, when her hair is down, it is um, even across the bottom. I just have it pulled back here so it looks um, uneven. It's not as long as her original hair because I did trim it. Um, I've thought about getting her, um, you know, replacing, wanted to replace her for her hair reasons, but because these dolls are becoming more and more rare and more and more expensive on the um, secondary market, I decided to just leave it as is because she does have her pin curls and, you know, she just, her face is so lovely. I, not a lot of makeup. Her eyes are gorgeous. I don't want to risk you know, switching out this doll head for something that looks nothing like a Pleasant Company doll. So guys, with that said, I am so happy Felicity is back. She is so uh, beautiful. Her collection is beautiful. Um, this new version of her updated version is very pleasing. It will be, um, you will be pleasantly surprised if you are an old school collector and the new collectors will certainly enjoy getting to know Felicity um, because her stuff is so pretty. I'm going to have pictures, guys. Thank you for watching. Any questions, let me know. Be looking forward to her Be Forever dress when it gets here. I will upload that video as quickly as I can. Thank you, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.